back once again on the thrift this time down on this road I saw this um, Star Wars job I didn't know what it was so I thought I'd have a look the sounds of Star Wars yeah it didn't work so <laughs> six quid I think yeah. don't think I'll be buying that let's have a look in these baskets it's hit and miss in this one but um, there's plenty to look at oh, almost but monk, um, monkey ball deluxe but every time I buy it I'm reminded of the fact that it's not worth anything and I've already got it <laughs> so I left it there um, a lot of PC stuff some of them still sealed <laughs> deal or no deal still sealed um, all DVDs then Plenty of toasters and slow cooker because if you wanted something like that, <laughs> yeah, not much of anything else. For some reason, Clex X is always in in the way when I'm filming stuff now. <laughs> I either pick it up or I see it. Sorry, Kevin Smith, uh, you <laughs> your cult classic has been mistreated, <laughs> been donated. Um, in here, I saw Magic the Gathering starter pack. And obviously, Magic the Gathering. There's money in that, so I thought I'd take a look. But um, when I was looking at it, there was all the gum there. But you see me checking now, the, the cards were gone. There were supposed to be 50, um, 50 Magic the Gathering cards in that box. Which I didn't discover until I started reading the back of the actual box that the cards are supposed to be in. But yeah not complete I don't know if it would have been worth anything but it was two pound but all the best bits had gone the um, VHS tape was still in there though it'd be interesting to see what what that was like what what year this is from and if that's herky and got some cheesy action on it because you know I like old VHS junk so. but nah I passed it up because the cards were missing but it was like the only thing I'd seen down there so far today so I was like I've actually seen something I almost bought but nah to no avail it was not worth it <laughs> yeah empty box it took me long enough to get into it though <laughs> Tony X American Wasteland which I tried to buy but they couldn't find the disc so I was like ugh <laughs> it was 5 99 CEX sell it for about 12 quid. It's always worth picking up under 6 quid. And it's the best Tony Oaks on next gen. Well, last gen now. But, um, yeah, they couldn't find the disc, so I didn't get that. I was having a scout about in here. I'd not found out not down old in this road, so I was like, last shop. You always get a bit desperate in the last shop. <laughs> Check the price of Mario. Thirteen pound here. Eh? That's the cheapest I've seen it so far. I saw it for fifteen quid in one down Newland the other day. The price has dropped since the Switch versions come out. Nine quid for a little Mega Drive collection. That's all right. Um, there's a few 3DS games sandwiched in all the DS games, so I thought I'd see what they were. Because I have no. Well, I've got Monster Hunter for unbox, and that's it. Uh, so Professor Layton, the newest one, for four quid. CEX sold that for eight. So I was like, four quid's fine. If I get bored of it, there's an extra quid on the trade. That's what I got, this thrift. Animal Crossing Wild Worlds and Indiana Jones Staff of Kings I didn't get on camera because the camera cut out cut out before I could get to the last shop. But um, three quid for Animal Crossing Wild Worlds. We paid for the whole lot because, I mean, it's an 18 quid game in CEX trade's good on it as well and it was only three quid so no brainer there we're down and lobby now a bit posher posher endeville thought i'd have a look through all these i've been playing that hot wheels expansion of furza so i've been looking at cars a lot that says a lot <laughs> waitress lorry that's what they give the kids around here to play with waitress man <laughs> um the skylanders um i don't know about skylanders really they were two pound fifty each, and it was like individual ones. We well, see the starter packs with three of three of them in. For there's a big basket of Lego for three quid. 
I almost, but, it, but then last time I reset Lego, it didn't go that well, and it took me ages to research all the parts, so I was like, I can't be bothered with that. Some FIFA 11, some Mertz art in this one, further down the road. There won't really anything in this one. It's a load of clothes. But I did spot something that I nearly bought. It was that um, Tetris bird game. And I've, I've seen this. But I, was it Guru Larry and Ashens who did something like that? I know they did the Pac-Man bird game. I'm sure they did a Tetris one. But I don't think it was this this one I'm looking at now. It might have been. I don't know. It was complete. It was £2.50. And I just couldn't be bothered to carry it. So I left it there. <laughs> but I mean there might be some money in that. Probably. So if you want Tetris the Bird game, get down to Andleby. That's where it is. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I, I never, I never buy bulky items. I can never be bothered to carry them about. I'm probably doing myself a fault of some good stuff. But <laughs> yeah, so scoot to town. Back at CX. The Saturn's gone. <laughs> Someone's had the Saturn away for ninety quid. Um. There's not much different. I mean, there's more Mega Drive stuff for sure because that's what I was here for. Uh, I was umming and ahhing about um, Dragon's Fury and Dragon's Revenge earlier, last time. But I decided to get them because I had 36 quid trade. I also got Goat Look for, which you've just seen go past there. Loads of um, Dreamcast, but 26 quid for Mortal Kombat Gold. Mind you, trilogies, Trilogy on PS1's gone up in value as well. Thought I'd go back to cash converters because I mean it's been about it's been a while since the last one. Give them a chance to regenerate some stuff for me to look at. <laughs> but um, there was loads of stuff in here that weren't here last time. The game and watches and all that lot are still there. Load of unboxed DS stuff. Um, there's some Vectrex games next to the Atari games now as well. And a good supply of Zelda, <laughs> which I mean, if you if you want to do Zelda now, I'd have a look in. The, I'd have a look retail first, because they pop up all the time now. Them gold cartridges, and I don't know what I, I haven't checked either for a while, but I imagine they're closer than you'd think. But um, what they did have was a shit ton of 3D games. There was some Philips CDI games mixed in with this as well, and some Mega CD. But if you want some Nazi CD-based early technology fodder, here you are, Eldorado. I was like, see, I would have bought more of these, but I haven't got the system. So, I mean, one, you can't play them, and two, you can't really resell them because you can't test them to say that they work. Which just, if you do that, if you sell stuff that's untested, you're just going to end up with a whole load of eBay aggro. So, I was looking through them. They had some quality shit in here. I mean, Road Rash, I would have bought if I had the system. Like, no brainer. I mean, I know it's the PS1 version, but... That was 99p, so I put that to one side. I ended up buying that as well. That Love Bites, because it sounded like my website. <laughs> Plus, I mean, 99p... It's alright, because then you're just tipping your toe in. I mean, balls, man. I I loved that game on Mega Drive. <laughs> and, like, the 3DO version. I mean, it'd be even shinier, wouldn't it? But, um, yeah, to dip your toe in. I mean, Gex was 29 99 I think. But for, like, a couple of quid, because I found another one for 99p in a second, I, won't mind, I, I don't mind buying, like... A few cheap ones, just in case I ever do get the system. Then I've got something to try it out with. That's my idea, anyways. But any more than the odd quid, you're gonna you're putting money into stuff you can't use or uh, resell. So that was my logic behind this. <laughs> but these prices look alright to me. I mean, five quid for um, Wing Command, Wing Commander for. I mean, I know the Wing Commanders are ten a penny. They're quite common, but. On 3 the the common syndicate and space all because there's that common. I don't know. It's just, it's just like you don't you don't retain the information if you haven't got the system because you don't you don't research them or anything because you you know I usually research stuff that I want to end up playing 
first. It's like the the resell stuff kind of comes afterwards, when you 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 know realize the game shit. You don't want it anymore, and you want to pull that money back into the collection. But I mean, I talked to the woman after this, and she said they they, they did have a system, and it sold straight away fifty nine ninety nine, and I would have popped on that because. I mean, 120 quid easily on eBay for a 3 year. I mean, just last week, I, the guy in Sparks had a 3 year. He sold it for 50, which I would have also bought, but someone had already put the money down for it in that, so I couldn't buy that one. But the other one I picked up was Starblade. Starblade on 3D for 99p, which is good because I don't have the PS1 version of that. <laughs> yeah, 59.99. Yeah, it seems Thrifting Live should be renamed Gav Goes to Sparks because we can't find anything, but we're in here again. I always wanted to sweep up all the ones that I remember being in here. That's Blazing First, I just picked up the Namco sort of Space Harrier shooter type deal that I played on ROM before. And I, I forgot that Balls was in here, but because I'd seen the 3DO version and come buy and play that one, I was like, four quid for the Mega Drive version in the box. Yes, <laughs> yes to that. Uh, there's so much stuff in here to. Um, Get your head round in one sit in one visit. Uh, it's usually what happens. I end up coming back after I've had a bit of a think about which ones I wanted. I did think about getting Strider again from here, seven quid. But every time I pick it up, I realise how grufty the front cover is, and it puts me off. So I didn't bother with that one. The turquoise D DS light that I'm destroying. That's the thing I bend down is like a master system too in your face. It's like being in my games room. Dyad Trilogy, Tenor. Virtual Fighter 2 with Tenor. And this one, which I nearly bought. Cause I, oh, I've always wanted Bug on Saturn. I found it. It's 10 quid. And I still don't buy it. I probably should have done, but. I mean, it's. It's no more, more or less than the eBay price. I mean, you could pick that up for nine ninety nine on eBay, but then you got your postage on top as a purse. It was quite a scratch there, but I don't know. I mean, I'd say I'd go back for it, but Saturn games don't sit very long round here. <laughs> it's usually the case if you see Saturn games are gone straight away. So I mean, I passed it up. Someone else can have it. <laughs> Thought I'd have a look, see if there was any more Dreamcast stuff, but it was all the same. Another box of Tara game. I've been seeing a lot of them about. I mean, I bought a bunch of them the other day. I wondered what that was, but it's a 8 bit Atari football for the, one of the computers, the ST. Same old in the pile of SNES and N64 this last time. I did manage to trade in for, um, yeah, as I say, Dragon's Fury and Dragon's Revenge, so I was feeling very pinball-y, so Psycho Pinball appealed to me at the time. <laughs> There's me reluctantly having another look at Strider and seeing all the crap all over it. <laughs> I mean, you never know, if it sits for long enough, they'll let him put the price down. Some guy asked to put the save these but never come back for him, so he's offering them to me. And they had Killer Instinct for three quid on the top, so I grabbed that one. I'm not really interested in House of the Dead for 20 quid or Day of Turner, because I've got Day of Turner and House of the Dead. Yeah, light guns, new TVs, none of that stuff works anymore. I think that's me telling the guy <laughs> that the light guns don't work and having a rant about it. So that's everything I've got from this thrift. If you like to see me go thrifting live some more, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. 
and I'll see you later.